This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at multiple companies from a coffee supporter. This supporter right here sent us a generous cup of coffee. Thank you very much for that. I have enjoyed this Capilina Latte Frate Coffee, man. I'm, I'm telling you, it was very, very good. Shout out to Sonar. Thank you very, very much for this coffee. And we about to give this special edition of MTC to you. They would like to find out about Johnson's feed. Police Co. RM Trucking. MC Van Campen Trucking. MNM Transport Services. Midwest Direct and jvc enterprise i believe all but one is located in michigan they had a set of questions for us to ask they would like to know what are the trucks equipped with is it equipped with an apu or epu they would like to know what the trucks are governed at they will also like to know if the company offered per diem, and if so, how much? And last but not least, they would like to know the policies on personal conveyance. So if you guys are interested in all of these companies that we're about to get into today, stay tuned. You guys accept SAP drivers? Um, it depends on the situation. Is it somebody that is like post the entire process or going through? Uh, going like, through the so step. completing the follow up and all that. Yeah, going through the step six of the program, which is the return to duty status. Yep. Okay. So not during that status. The equipment that you guys have, what are they and are they equipped with APU or EPU and what are they governing that? Sure. Okay. So we have Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks. They are governed at 75, equipped with a refrigerator. It'll have an inverter or an APU. I would say that, gosh, most of them have an APU. There's a couple that only have inverters, but it's a handful or less. And then governed at 75. I don't know if I said that, but we have both manuals and automatics in the fleet. Ooh, manuals and automatics. Awesome. How much experience do you guys require? Yep. So two years minimum over the road. All right. Mileage pay. Is it paid by percentage or per mile? Per mile. And do you guys offer per diem? Yes. Per diem is included in the base rate. So you are looking at, is a solo or team driver that you're looking for? Solo. Solo. Okay. And are you, you're the, I'm assuming you're asking these questions. The guys in my group. Okay. Very good. And where, do you mind if I ask where you live? I'm out of Ohio and I'm, I'm thinking you guys is out of Michigan, right? We are. Yep. We're on the between Holland and Grand Rapids on the west side of the state. Okay. Hey, I'm going to break down the pay for you a couple different ways. Please ask questions because I want you to understand, you know, what it is you're, you'd be making. So if we're annually in the range of, I'm going to go, these are actual numbers of what our drivers made. So I'm going to go low, average, high, low, high, average. 63,000 was the lowest. High end is about 123,000. Average for the year was about 91,000. So if that's the range you're looking in. The 123, what does that consist of? Yep, so that is on the high end. Like, that is probably just really full disclosure. Probably a driver that didn't go home. They probably um, were out quite a bit because we have different people who have different home time needs. So our is how it – okay, so that's going to – I'm going to keep going here and just to kind of give you the full picture. Um, that you're looking at a weekly average of 1200 uh, to 2400 on the high end, average about 1750 And so that breaks down to our rate per mile is $0.51. Cents. On top of that, you're going to get a 5 a $0.07, or $0.09 cent mileage bonus. And the mileage bonus is just strictly based on the miles, and that's paid out once a month. 
you are looking at a, let me go to that page, very doable. We have drivers that hit each level every month. So for 12,000 miles, which is an average of 27 times a week for as far as like miles to put in, that's five cents. You get a minimum bonus of 600. If you do 13,500, it'll be, three, it's an average of 3,050 miles a week. And that gets you seven cents. That's a minimum bonus of 945. And then the 15,000 is 3,381 miles per week average, nine cents per mile for what you ran through the month. And that's a minimum bonus of 1350. There are a lot of numbers at you, but just kind of sign, sign on bonus is 5,000 a piece. Um, and then you're going to, which is a thousand after your first round trip. And the remaining 4,000 is 500 per month until it's paid. And then we process our payroll daily. So anything turned in by eight o'clock in the morning is processed on the same day and it's in your account two days later. Pretty quick turnaround. Okay. I got a two part question then. I'm out of Ohio. How would you get me up there for orientation? Um, so we're in Ohio. Cleveland. Okay. So I would say we could either do a car rental. Um, you can drive your own car or if we can't get a one way rental from where you're at. I know this is kind of unconventional, but we sometimes can get a U-Haul. So then you can take your stuff with you, just a small little land thing. Okay. So it just depends. Yeah, because we go through hurt. And for some reason, some places we can get one way is no problem. And other places, they're just not that easy to get. So, but gotcha. yeah, we pay your expenses here. Orientation is a full day. We generally get you in the night before, put you in the hotel, and then orientation is paid for the day. Um, if it goes into two days, you get paid for both days. All right. Awesome. And my last question is, what's your policies on personal convenience? Okay. So as long, we do audit it just to make sure you're using it within the parameters of the FCSA regulations. But we don't mind that you use it as long as you're using it legally. All right. All right. Well, thank you very so, much, ma'am. Yep. yep. And that's if you're willing to run. You know, like I'm not going to say every driver that comes here is going to make that because everybody likes to run different. But, okay, that's why I wonder, because I don't ever want it to be a backwards move for you. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate your time and honesty. Thank you very much. Yeah, you betcha. Have a wonderful day. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, it was kind of case by case basis, depending on how long ago it was, if, if you're done with SAP and how much experience do you guys require there? It's got to be at least two years, two years. All right. I only have a few more questions. What are the trucks? What are your equipment? And do they come equipped with an EPU or an APU? And what are they governing that? Uh, so most of them are going to have EPUs, at least these newer Freightliners. And most of our trucks are governed between 70 and 75, depending on if it's a company truck or a lease truck. Okay. Most of, the, most of the lease trucks are going to be 75. Okay, okay. So you guys do offer lease. Is it lease to, is it lease to purchase? And Yeah. Okay, and are we locked in or is it a walk-away lease? Uh, it's a walk-away lease, so we don't require any money down. Generally, whatever the truck payment is what you guys get it for. You guys take home 88% under the lease program. Do you guys offer per diem, and what is the cent per mile? So we do for company drivers. I think the per diem is. I want to say it's in the 40s. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much a per diem is. I think it's either 59 or 69 bucks a day. Okay. Um, and then as far as company drivers, we pay generally between like 50 and 60 cents a mile, depending on experience. And my last question for you, man, and again, thank you for your time. What's your policies on personal convenience? So it's got to be personal. We don't we don't really mess around with the logs, man. Whatever, you know. If you got a personal thing to do, sure. If if you can't be advancing your load or making deliveries under PC, we don't we don't really tolerate that. Now let me ask you this: What about finding a safe haven park and say like if we're stuck at a at a shipper now oh, yeah, receiver? Oh, okay, okay. As long okay. as you do it legally, man, we're we're okay with it. All righty. All righty, brother, man. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate your time and thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Take it easy. Hello. How you doing today? May I speak with a recruiter, please? We're all set. Thanks. Okay. It's that like all said as y'all not looking for drivers or what am I trying to understand here? Are you looking for uh, over the road or local position? What you got? What over the road? 
Over the road. Over the road. Okay, one sec here. Okay. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? But currently, we do not. Okay. Your equipment, are they equipped with EPU or APU, and what are the trucks governing that? APUs, and they're governed at 75. All right. How much experience do you guys require? Two years. All right. What's the mileage rate, and do you guys offer per diem on that, and if it's percentage or cent per mile? Well, per diem is just based on the amount of days you're out, and we have our structure for pay kind of different than most because... The majority of our freight is multi-stop. We have anywhere from one to six deliveries. So we do 52 cents per mile, hub miles, and then we pay $25 a stop, and that includes pickup and delivery. We do have bonus We do have bonus packages as well for performance and safety. Okay, awesome. Thank you again for sharing the information with me. My last question for you is, what's your policy on personal convenience? So unless you're seeking safe haven, you're, that's the only way that it should be used. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, sir. Are are you guys currently hiring or no? Because the first guy kind of made it like you guys is not looking for nobody. So we are hiring over-the-road guys. Locally, we're kind of set right now. Okay, pretty good. We are looking and- for over-the-road. The only thing that I will say about that is, you know, our freight goes all over the place, and I can't guarantee that you won't end up somewhere. I know a lot of people don't like to run the East Coast, but we are looking for drivers that are okay with basically going anywhere. We don't send our guys to the, like the New York Island, but you know we do go to New Jersey, Mass, Pennsylvania, and that type of thing. That is very good to know because I am not a fan of the Northeast. Yeah, yeah, you know. I can sometimes, you know, I would say 90% of the time I really can keep you out, but there is that one-off chance that that's the only load we have, and we, you know, we got to get it out there. So that's kind of the, we're just looking for people that really don't mind where they go, and we do run a 10-cent bonus to go out to the Northeast. So, yeah, that's basically it. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the time and the information, sir. Yep. Thanks for reaching out. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. Okay, cool. Your equipment, what are they equipped with? APU or EPU, and what are the trucks governing that? APU, and it just depends on the driver what they're governed at. If they have previous speeding issues, then we might govern them at a a certain speed, but usually they're 70. What are, what are the equipment do you guys have to offer? Freightliners. Okay, cool. Mileage pay? Or percentage pay, and do you guys offer per diem? Are you guys are are you a driver? Yes, I am. Okay, um, we do offer per diem, and then mileage pay depends on years' experience. All right, so I got nine years of experience. So what would I be coming in at? Three cents per mile. We have a safety, we have a safety performance bonus as well, is that we pay weekly, so that would be looking at fifty-eight cents per mile. Awesome. Are the miles calculated zip to zip or practical? It, it's mild based on your ELD into our, our, our PMS system. Awesome. My last question for you, and again, thank you very much. What is your policies on personal conveyance? Uh, we do not have that. We, do not, we don't allow it. Now, now, since you don't, let me ask you this question. What, what will happen to us if we get in a situation of being held up at a shipper or a receiver? And we run out of hours. Uh, that would be something that dispatch would be able to answer. I guess it would probably depend on the situation, but any other use of it, we don't approve of. All right. I got you. I got you. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I really appreciate the time and the, and the information. Thank you. Yep. No problem. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? No. All right. My other questions are, are the trucks equipped with APUs or EPUs? Yes, what APUs. Are, APUs? What are the equipment and what are they yep. governing that? We have Kenworth T680s at 69 miles an hour. All right. My last two questions to you are, do you guys pay uh, by the mile or percentage? And if so, how much? And do you guys offer per diem? Um, cents per mile. 52 cents, and yes, we offer per diem. All right. And my last question to you, sir, and thank you for your time. 
is what is your policies on personal convenience? We uh, we allow it in in certain situations. To to and from customers to safe havens would be our our primary use of it. All right, thank you uh, very much. Very last question. You're welcome. How are the miles calculated? Yep. Is it zip to zip or practical? Practical. All right, cool. Thank you very much, sir. And you guys is located out of out of South Dakota. How would you guys get us that up there? That is correct. For, how would you guys get up get us up there for orientation? Um, depending on it, all depends where the where the person lives. Thank you very much for all your right. time, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? That are done? That's are they done with their course? That's probably on the Step 6 program. I believe they need the return to duty status part of it. Right. Are they currently employed? Typically, you stick with the person that you're employed with until you're through with it. And then they give they do the return to work. What are the equipment that you guys have? And are they equipped with APUs or EPUs? Uh, well, we have some of our equipments are equipped with APUs. We have a variety of trucks, Peterbilt and Kenworth mainly, the 680 model, 567 Peterbilt, 13 speeds and automatic. Uh, what are they governing that? A 75. As far as the rates goes, do you guys offer percentage or is it cent per mile? And if so, how much is it? No, in- we do. Yeah, we, we are paid by the mileage. And singles start at fifty six cents a mile, plus you get a five cent produce premium when you load out of California, Arizona back with produce. You get an extra five cents a mile coming back. Do you guys offer per diem? Uh, eight cents per eight, diem. Eight cents. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. What are your policies on personal convenience? As long as it's legal and. You know, we don't have no issue with it. If we find it's abused, then we'll just turn it off. All right. How would you guys get me out there for orientation? I'd probably fly you here. All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. Who's next?